Hi, I'm here on Maui with the JP Shaper Vernon Igler and also part of the JP Wave team, Ricardo Campello, Robbie Swift and our new addition to the team, Jules Denel. Now, Vernon, you developed the single thruster line with all these guys. What was your basic concept behind the idea? We wanted to come up with a board range which worked perfectly well for our team riders on the tour, just as well as for the normal wave rider. At the moment, the tour doesn't visit any dream locations where they find side offshore conditions like Poquipa or Capo Verde. So they all have to deal with various conditions around the world and for the normal guy, whatever they find at their home spot they're sailing in. So they're all looking for fast, powerful boards which still turn as radical as possible. Robbie, what would you say are the biggest advantages with these boards? Well, for me, the versatility of the board is the best thing. Um, you know, you can just put one fin in it and then it's a really good bump and jump board. It's fun, it's fast to sail around on, even on flat water. And then if you put the three fins in um, with the regular setup that it comes with, with a bigger fin in the back and the smaller fins in the front, it's good for onshore. It still turns really well, but, um, you know, it's fast and gets going through the, through the white water and stuff pretty quickly. And then if you just put a bigger side fins in and smaller back fin, you get more of a, a slidey feel and a, and a grippier feel on the wave. So you can even use it in down the line. I've been using them at Hukipa quite a lot and the board's great. So, you know, to have one board that works in lots of very, very conditions, I think that's the most important thing about this board. And Ricardo, Werner made the boards a bit longer this year. What does that do? Yes, this year the boards are a bit longer. Uh, the, that improves the early planing and the control. Also, the increased water lines give much more drive when the condition gets tough. And to land uh, big jumps is much easier because you have more space and you can also float a little bit more in the air. And it, it's much easier, much earlier planing. And this year you've been a lot more involved in the development. Yeah, this year Verna, Robbie and I have been working a lot on the on the boards. Uh, th basically, the boards Robbie and I are using is one generation ahead of the boards that are gonna come out on the production. So in so in the end, we realized that the boards that we want to compete uh, is the board that everybody wants, which has uh, early planing, good control, and good turning. Verna, can you give us a few more details about the shape? Uh, yes, uh, what we did is we flattened the scoop rocker line a little bit between the straps and worked with rather small amount of tail kick. This in combination with a double concave cross section around the mass base area, which runs into a, a flat V which increases slightly towards the tail. So the advantage of this concept is that we can basically use two different bottom curves. We have a flatter section in the middle and because of the increased V we have additional curve in the rail. So when sailing in a straight line, you can really take advantage of the rather flat scoop rocker line, which makes the board really fast and early planing. And once you rail it up to start your turns, you can really feel the additional curve uh, in the rail line. This bottom concept in combination with thin rails throughout makes it a fast and turny board. Jules, you're new to the JP team this year and you arrived right at the end of the development of these boards. What is it about them that you especially like? Yes, I just arrived in the team at the beginning of this year. I am uh, really impressed with, uh, with the board. The board is really, really good, really fast. It's really nice for, for jumping, uh, for, for do some really big jump. Uh, the stance of the board is, uh, is uh, really wider, so, so it's more easier to turn on the wave. And I'm really happy with the board and I, I look forward to, to compete this year with, with them. Robbie, you're probably the one that was the most involved with the development of the boards. Is there anything extra you'd like to add? I think for me, the thing that people are going to enjoy the most about the boards is uh, that they're so fast and they, they go so well in light winds. You know, for a lot of years, boards have been quite slow and uh, now I find myself planing around the whole time and getting so many more waves that we have a lot of competitions where it's quite hard to even get enough waves uh, to fill your whole score sheet. So I think it's going to be a big improvement for us competing and, and also for people just generally getting more waves in the days that they get to go sailing. OK, cool. Thanks, guys. Well, I look forward to seeing you all out there ripping it up this year and good luck for the upcoming season. Let's hope one of you comes back with the title.